but agents are CEOs of their own business. They really have to run their own business. How do you guide them? How do you talk to them about being focused and, and putting priorities in place? Keep in mind their families and at the same time be true to themselves and keep that passion because without waking up in the morning and you don't have, without being passionate about why you are here today at campus at this conference room, I think life would be so miserable. So yeah. you have to feel that. Well, I tell them a story that when I was working in the garment industry, I was out in California working with the number one salesman in the country. His name was Harris. And this guy was making a lot of money back then. And I asked him, I'm like, Harris, how do you do it? He goes, I wake up every day. And he goes, I just do my job. And the money follows me. And I followed that principle and I told this to agents all the time. First off, remember, as an independent contractor, these agents have no salary. I really feel for them because I understand how difficult it is, especially if you're the primary provider of your family, where's my money coming from? You know, and it's not like you make a deal today and it closes tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know, you can make a deal today. It could be four months, five months out. So you're always really working three to four months out. So it's very difficult. So the first thing I talk about is obviously the mindset. You have to have a plan. You have to put it down on paper. You have to be scheduled. You have to have time management. And I almost equate it and I thank Tony Robbins. I'm a disciple of Tony Robbins. I'm actually still studying to get my uh, certification. Oh, really? Yes, in um, being a coach. Well, I'm I'm certified in real estate coaching, but life coaching, I'm going through. It's a thousand hours. It's really pretty intense. But um, I really believe that it's all how you design. You have to work by design, not by default. Mm -hmm. You really have to have a plan, and then you have to hold yourself accountable. Sometimes having me as the manager, or you could have a mentor, you hold yourself accountable. And then you have to understand that we're all people of patterns, all right? So, and habits. So it's easy to start a good habit, and it's also very easy to break a good habit and have bad habits. So do you keep track, not, I, you can't keep track of them, but do you have consistent meetings with your agents? Do you? Do you hold them accountable? Are you going through their business plan? Here's what I tell them. This is not nursery school. (laughs) This is, you know, big stakes in real estate. So they have to be accountable to themselves. The first thing is they can't give themselves stories why they fail. You have to look at what you're doing and what you're not doing. That's number one. So yes, I'll do one-on-one meetings. Sometimes I'll do, if we have a team of seven or eight, I'll do a team meeting. Um, we do meetings every two weeks, you know, in offices. We have once a week, uh, once a month, we do an all Long Island meeting where we have 250 agents on, on a, that one isn't live, that one we do on a Google Meet. But um, we're constantly coaching, training, we're teaching agents how to use the tools that we have. Because remember what I said earlier, We spent a billion dollars plus. Yeah. Okay, so think about having all these tools and I equate it, the analogy is you're in the army and I say, here, go out with this gun, but I'm not gonna give you any ammunition. (laughs) All right, you're gonna go, are you crazy? And then I'm gonna say, no, I'm gonna give you this big heavy metal, all this ammunition, take it with you because my goal is for you to survive the battle and come back victorious. So the tools are there, but if you don't use them, all right, if you don't use them, yeah, if you don't (laughs) use them, well, you're going to be a casualty of war, perhaps. And I'm going to tell you this. I mean, when I, I am used to having people that work for me. I've done that all my life. So I had an assistant. I had people say, do this, do that. I'd give them jobs that I didn't have time for, jobs that maybe I said they weren't worth me spending on because my time was more valuable. Um, but when I came here at Compass, I was like, wow, <laughs> I'm really behind the curve here. I need to learn more about a skill set that I haven't spent any time with because I had people doing it for me. So what did I do? Do you think I feel bad for myself and go, oh, my God? No, 
I hired a tutor. I still use that tutor once a week. You do um, Salesforce? I do so. I do it all. I mean, I'm on my computer probably now 50 to 60 percent of my time if I'm not in front of agents. So I do it all. Do I know it all perfectly? No, I'm always learning. But here's what I will tell you. The, what I love about real estate is that real estate can be done any time of the day. Now, you can't be in front of your audience at three in the morning, but if you can't sleep, which I don't sleep very well, I can be up three in the morning. I can be doing work on my computer. That's not healthy, Ed. Well, it's true. It's not. It is not. And that's something that we'll talk at another time. <laughs> but, you know, but the good news with real estate is you really can schedule time around your schedule. Right. All right. And so you can integrate personal and business because it's just moving time around. Right. All right. You, so there's a lot of things you could be doing that you could be doing after dinner. You could be doing a, an educational webinar. You could be listening to current events. All these things in real estate, what I love about real estate, no matter who you meet, no matter where you travel, it's someone that can give you business. All right, but you first have to build a relationship. Yeah. If you don't have that relationship, I hate agents that, here's my card. No, I don't want to see your card. I want to know about you. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just watching uh, Dances with the Wolves, ah. which is, a, have you ever seen that movie? No, I just so It's a fabulous movie. It's mm -hmm. about the, the West, and it's about the white man invading the West where the Indians were roaming and they were living on the land. And there was this um, Kevin Costner. He is the star and he's in the cavalry and he's on a, a, a military base all by himself. And now this tribe of Indians meet him and they want to get to know him because they want to find, about, find out about what is their plight? What is the white man going to do? They're going to invade our area. So they started asking him more questions and he says to them, slow down. What is your name? Okay, what is your name? And when you look at that, think about it. Because most people, they're not thinking about making the relationship, understanding who you are. They're about, they're thinking about how is this person, how am I gonna benefit by knowing this person? It's the wrong way of working. The right way of working is I really don't care. Let me get to know this person. Let them see who I am. And now you build a bond. From that bond, you can have lifelong relationships. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's really, th that is teaching people because you'd be surprised. People in sales, they feel pressure. It's the worst thing to have, pressure. To feel like I got to make the sale. So relax, deep breath, enjoy the company, be yourself and the rest will all follow. And I agree with you. And I do think, I believe strongly that relationship is the foundation of anything at all, if you are in sales. Uh, and that's how I, I used to build my business. And that's how I was building Long Island. Right. I invested myself, my energy, everything I know into the relationship. That's mm -hmm. why if you look at Long Island right now, it's doing so well because the base, the foundation is there, which is relationships. So I yeah, it, well, but I think, forget Long Island, I think in general, it's about yeah. relationships. Will relationships always get you to the promised land? No. But, but I it will, helps. Well, it yeah. does help, but I will tell you this, along the road that you travel, you will meet incredible people. And, and that is the learning experience. 